Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. So for this layout, I really wanted to pick up Steph's challenge of creating a layout about ourselves. I don't actually often create that many layouts about myself. I, I try and get myself into my books, that's for sure, but not ones that are specifically to celebrate the qualities of me they're usually more to be about something we did like we went out for dinner or I caught up with girlfriends or something so this layout is a selfie of me for no reason other than it is me I loved the minute I opened this kit the faces paper and I knew I needed to create a whole layout that really had a lot of this paper on it because I had I adored it. I adored the colours. I loved the look of the faces. I just hands down my favourite paper in the kit. So I really wanted to get this paper on. Now it's unusual for me to not have gutted out that little triangle so I could maybe use a little bit more later, but I thought that was going to be a little bit difficult because I really wanted that border. So I took a piece of creamy coloured paper from my stash. I stitched all the way around the edge in a grey thread that matched that sort of dark purpley grey that's part of the face's background. And then a beautiful light purple distress oxide that I showed you at the start of the video that we actually got in a kit a couple of months back. And then a selfie of me just for no reason. I just took a selfie. Now I'm going to go ahead and build up a few clusters. Um, I just really liked that girl with her long hair, kind of looks like my hair, so I decided I would throw her on. Um, but the whole feel of this layout is to be calm, is to be, you know, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, not focused as such, but, you know, meditative maybe. Um, it's got the candle, it's got that beautiful girl doing, you know, yoga pose or meditation pose, it's got the love heart, um, the light bulb but with the florals inside so yeah it's it's all just about um embrace embracing ourselves the balance and all of that kind of thing so i'm building up these three clusters um i deliberately chose a lot of the black and white embellishments for this page with a, just a few little highlights of those color pieces so obviously the girl is in color that love heart is in color but then We've got the black and white candle, we've got the black and white um, light bulb, and then we've got this strong black title. And I really wanted to do that on purpose because the paper is quite busy. I'm in quite a bright red top, probably not the best color choice of clothing for this photo, but I didn't plan that. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, these are going to be my three clusters. That one next to remember is sort of hanging out a little bit randomly off to the side. A little, it's, it's, it's very borderline to being a floating cluster. But because I've got it touching the letter R, I've just managed to anchor it to the title. And then on the sticker sheet, there are a whole bunch of I am statements. And I really wanted to get those onto the layout to, to be about myself and and things that we need to remember kind of like a bit of a mantra to ourselves we can sometimes be a little bit self-critical and are not always kind to ourselves um, I for one am definitely guilty of doing that at times and I think it is important to remember how hard we work and how valuable we are um, to ourselves and to our families and just important important things like that we don't often tell ourselves enough and we don't often tell each other enough. Uh, you know, I'm guilty of not saying it to other people either. So I think it is important to remember these things and have these things in the forefront of our mind when we can. So that is what the basis of this layout was. And to be honest, I really would never have made this layout if Steph hadn't have issued the challenge to the design team to create a layout about ourselves. So thank you, Steph. <laughs> um, I just now need to remind myself to look at it every now and then. <laughs> Once a month, I need to go back and check this layout out. Now, for the purposes of the photo and because it looks super cute, I have bent up the butterfly wings because, gosh, they're gorgeous like that. But I do realize that as soon as I put them in my album, they will go flat. But they look so cute. I might actually go ahead and put some foam underneath them underneath the wings I mean just to give them that little bit more of a pop because they're really cute 
Um, I just got a few of the little circular stickers, stickers of the Vicky Booten um, thicker sheet because I love those. They're a bit like enamel dots, but little puffy stickers and a little bit of gold and she is done. I'm really happy with the way this layout came together. I think it's super cute. Um, I really love the I am statements. And as I said, I think they're really valuable and a really, really important mantra to be saying to ourselves when we need to hear them. So I hope you have enjoyed this process video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I cannot wait to share my last Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout with you really soon. Bye everyone.